forward to that update. New on 2 News at 6 in HD, turning to our home state for energy. That's the message from T. Boom Pickens. The energy expert made a visit to Tulsa this afternoon. His big push today, natural gas. It's a resource that Tulsa Transit plans to take advantage of, and 2 News reporter Marla Carter is live at the main office to tell us about upgrades that are coming. Marla? Ross, soon the entire fleet of 100 plus buses out here at Tulsa Transit will run solely on compressed natural gas. And it's all thanks to funding from two federal grants. T. Boone Pickens says Tulsa Transit has the right idea. Different things bring Bob Gaines Jr. to the downtown bus stop. Get up and uh, depends on what I'm going to do, catch a bus. Sometime I may uh, go work out or something like this here. I may come downtown, take care of some business like I'm doing today. Whatever the journey, he depends on the bus to get him around. And soon, all city buses will see a major upgrade. To do that, we're going to actually start buying CNG vehicles to replace the diesel vehicles. And we're going to build our own on-site CNG fueling station. And we're also going to be converting some of our existing diesel vehicles to CNG. That same concept is just what T. Boone Pickens talked about at a fundraiser Wednesday for John Sullivan. It's the only resource that we've got. And, and we've got an abundance of it, and it's cheaper. A lot cheaper. Pickens says not only does natural gas cost less, but you also need less of it. One MCF natural gas moves the vehicle the same distance as seven gallons of diesel. It's all part of a bigger plan to go green and save green right at our own bus stops. We're sitting on top of a bunch of energy right here in the middle of the United States. Now they're also building a fueling station out here and it should be complete by the end of the year. As we mentioned, there's a huge savings from using compressed natural gas versus diesel. Well, that savings will then be applied to pay for that new fueling station out here. Reporting live from Midtown, Marla Carter, 2 News Works for you. Marla, thanks again. Federal grants are paying for the Tulsa Transit Project. Now coming up at 10, Pickens weighs in on the Gulf oil spill.